Um, in this video, I will be uh, deriving the basic um, one-dimensional motion equations. And um, it's quite easy. This is not me showing off. I just thought it would be good for you to see where some of the equations in your book come from. A lot of books like to skip a lot of steps or just show you the final product. Um, so, let's begin. Start with acceleration A. Acceleration is just the, the slope of velocity. It's a derivative of velocity. dv over dt. Okay? So, take this and you move the dt over to the other side using algebra. We have this. Now you would uh, take the integral of both sides Okay. this is an uh, indefinite integral so you're going to have a, a constant so this side will be just uh, bv which is velocity and this side would be a which is acceleration t which is time plus c c1 which is a constant c1 is basically the uh, initial velocity Okay, just the initial velocity. So the instantaneous velocity is equal to, if you just uh, replace this uh, v, is initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Okay, for the displacement or the um, position, uh, we know that uh, velocity v is uh, basically just a slope of the position over time so it's the derivative of position. We'll use x as position over dt. This. Okay. We know from here that v, the velocity, equals this. So what we would do is we would change it to equals okay we move this over to this side I'm just using brackets so I only have one dt okay and again we just take the integral of both sides okay uh, this becomes x which is displacement or the position this would become v naught times t plus one half acceleration times time squared plus another constant because it's an indefinite integral called its constant C2. C2 is just an um, um, initial position. So, rewriting this, it would be, remember this is uh, the initial position plus initial uh, velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. Okay, so that's how you uh, basically derive, you know, the one-dimensional instantaneous velocity equations. It's not too difficult. Like I said, it's not me showing off. It's just showing, just so you can see um, where they come from. There's slightly different ways to do this. Um, for example, um, my professors. You know, used instead of using this, you can use uh, this. This equals this. This equal. This is the same thing. Is that you know something like that? You know, whatever. 
you'll see dots over them. And uh, yeah, so you'll see two dots over acceleration like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing. So uh, this is how you do it.